Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid na narito at gayon din yung ating mga kapatid na nasa ibang dako ng mundo nakikibahagi sa pagsamba natin via live stream. May kilala ko na dating assessor sa isang maliit na munisipyo sa probinsya. Uh, among the stories that uh, she related to me, sabi niya, one of the stressors daw ng kanyang office is the issue of claims of inheritance of siblings and relatives. Hindi lamang stressor, nakaka-stress, sabi niya, kundi it is a sad scene to behold. It is a very sad scene to see, she said, because they cannot agree how to, halimbawa, how to to divide the property, yung minana sa lolo, tatay, o magulang. And they spend a lot, no? Pagbayad ng abogado, the court process, etc., etc. Kaya in the end, sabi nga, minsan yung paghahatian, kakaunti na lang yung makukuha nila dahil they cannot agree, no? Sometimes, no? And uh, many times, sabi nga niya, I had to intervene and tell them, mag-usap kayong na maigi. No? Kasi kakaunti lang yan kung magkaano yung gagastusin ninyo. Sayang lang. No? And uh, sabi nga niya, sometimes the... Uh, hindi lang yung uh, kakaunti yung makuha nila, kundi minsan din yung strained relationships na hindi na mag-uusap mag, no? dahil sa, sa ganyang bagay. Another she, scene she witnessed, according to her, yung successful rich people living already abroad, babalik, at makikipag-away pa sa mga kamag-anak na na naiwan sa probinsya na yung mga nagsasaka doon sa mga uh, mga uh, uh, nila doon and they are exacting at to the eh, no, last centavo what supposed to be their inheritance sabi nga din, with all their success, with all the, in their career and have comfortable life, minsan, nakakaawa at nakakalungkot tignan, no? na pag-iinteresan pa yung maliit na sinasaka ng dahil lang sa inheritance, sabi nga. It's sad no? to see this. And uh, relatives, siblings, fighting over inheritance. Parang minsan, sabi nga niya, actually parang nakakahiya tignan yung bagay na yun. Pero that's, that's the reality. Sabi nga niya, minsan, ito yung nagbibigay ng stress sa, sa buhay ng isang, I do not know, maybe the same experiences of others, other assessors, no? Probably, Jesus must have felt also that sadness with the request to mediate on the issue of inheritance in today's gospel as he would retort back, Who has set me, has set me up as judge or arbiter no? over inheritance? Jesus would say. The uh, dominant theme of today's liturgy is that of avarice or greed or the futility of greedy acquisition of wealth and power. 
with the parable of this rich man, Jesus wanted to show the foolishness of putting one's heart and trust in one's possessions. Basically, the effect of riches to the possessor is it makes him blind. In the parable, we see how the rich man thinks when he asked himself the question, what shall I do? He was close unto himself. In his horizon, there, there appears no other. It doesn't appear that he has a spouse, children, friends, or neighbor to consider. He does not think of the farmers or workers in his farm. He is only concerned with his welfare and riches. My harvest, my barn, my possessions, my life, my comfort. Umiikot yung buhay niya, yung kanyang kamalayan sa kanyang sarili. And this is one of the effects of riches. No? It makes people blind. Just as shown in, the, in today's parable of Jesus. The rich man does not see and is not aware that he is living and close unto himself. Prisoner of a view of life that is dehumanizing him, emptying him of all his dignity. He lives only to accumulate, to keep, to increase his material welfare. I will build bigger barns, he said, store all my grains and goods in them, and I will say to my soul, my soul, you have plenty of good things laid for many years to come. Take things easy. Eat, drink, have a good time. The danger among the dangers of riches is this. They make us blind. They make us poor, as one said. If you have only money, how poor you are because you miss the beauty of friendship, for example, the beauty of relationship, of commitment with the community, etc. Thus, Jesus warns us of the traps of material riches. In effect, Jesus is telling us, like in the first reading today, that riches are vanities and it is foolish to place one's security and trust in the material possessions. Riches cannot assure us anything. It cannot assure us heaven. Having said this, on the other hand, material possessions are good, neutral, if we may say so, because they have been given to us by the Lord. He has created all these things as gifts to us to be enjoyed. I think no one can deny that we all enjoy material possessions our material riches can provide good food the ability to travel and enjoy our traveling well-being good hospital etc i think we appreciate this but we should always be aware and remind ourselves 
of the precariousness of material possessions that these are relative they are not absolute one way of reminding ourselves that we should not be slaves of material wealth is to practice the generous sharing when we can share and part ways with the, our possessions and share is our way of saying to ourselves I am not a slave of my possessions it is good to remind ourselves again and again that I cannot save myself nor my possessions nor anyone else except Christ as the second reading tells us now the centrality of Jesus Christ all in all the the feast the saint of today actually which we cannot celebrate is Saint Ignatius of Loyola the founder of the uh, Jesuits and he has a very good principle no? what he calls the holy indifference in relationship of things no? what we call the holy indifference meaning yes I may have possessions no? but they are not the most I mean that I am detached that I am not slave of this no? and that is a, I think a beautiful uh, exercise a uh, reminder practice also what we call now what he termed as holy indifference yes you may have but live as if you do not have or it doesn't possess you no or it is the most important thing where you place already your security and everything let us always remind ourselves of the precariousness of wealth and in doing so we live that wisdom of God no? the wisdom that comes from God that enables us to value the absolute the only one who can save us and that is Christ let us therefore befriend Jesus our true wealth our tanging yaman no? our Savior who can bring us to that fullness of grace to that fullness of life Amen <music>